Hello again, incoming cadets, to this third video as you prepare to arrive and begin your leadership development journey. The focus of today is going to be on getting ready for New Cadet Week, looking ahead to the academic year, and how being part of the Corps will support your academic success. Let's begin. Many of you may be wondering what New Cadet Week is going to be like, so let's take a look. We begin our days pretty early in the morning and we'll be heading off to get a good breakfast. With all that energy we get from a good breakfast, we'll go out and do some training and orientation. After working hard, we need some more energy, so we'll have some lunch. And with the tank full again, what do you suppose we'll do next? That's right, some more training and orientation. Next up, well, it'll be time for some dinner. And, since there's still some time left in the day, we'll round things out with some training and orientation. By then, it's time for some hygiene time, getting showers and getting to bed by around 10 p.m. so we can get a good night's rest to be ready for the next day. And there you have it, everything you ever wanted to know about New Cadet Week. Now, we thought we'd share some important tips on how you can get a head start using this time in the summer to get ready. First, it is really important that you, the incoming cadet, completely reads the new cadet guide. It's not called the family or mom and dad guide, it is your guide, which means that you should be taking responsibility for getting everything done that is covered in the guide. But you should also make sure that a family member sees it also, so they can back you up but you're the project manager for this transition. So take charge of the process to get ready to arrive at Virginia Tech to join the Corps. Next, it's time to make sure you're getting into good physical shape. It's going to be warm when you arrive, so get into the habit now of keeping yourself well hydrated. We will not be drinking coffee or drinks with caffeine, so if that is part of your diet, we recommend you wean yourself off now. Caffeine is a diuretic, and we're interested in adding fluids, not losing them. You'll be getting evaluated from the ROTCs and in our Citizen Leader Track program, creating healthy habits for fitness. So work yourself up to a mile and a half run and doing push-ups and sit-ups as a way to get ready. We also will be developing mind as well as body, so get a head start by obtaining Leading with Honor by Lee Ellis who was a prisoner of war during the Vietnam conflict. He'll be among our guests who will be speaking to your class. And last but not least, you'll be receiving a hard copy when you arrive of a very important book called The Guide On. It has critical information that is so important that we will expect you to memorize it. The good news is you can access it now by going to our core website and finding it under the resources tab. I'd suggest becoming very knowledgeable about cadet ranks so you can recognize them on site and be able to address upperclassmen properly. Now, after New Cadet Week, what will a typical week look like? As the university makes adjustments to account for physical distancing, we'll likely see a bit of flex, but this will give you a general idea of a typical week. Depending on the ROTC and track you are in, that will determine your physical training schedule. The Air Force PT program earns academic credit, so it has to be scheduled during academic hours. Regardless, all cadets will be getting up, showering, making sure rooms and uniforms are ready for inspection, and we start the day with flag raising at 0730. We historically have had time on Mondays for you to share a meal with your fellow first-year cadets. And you see the general time periods for our class structure, which this fall will be a mixture of in-person and online experiences. Every evening is set aside for mandatory study time, called Evening Call to Quarters, or ECQ. This is time in your room, the library, or perhaps a lab to prepare for your classes the next day. Friday, late afternoons, and sometimes on Saturdays, we'll usually incorporate some special activities, including football games. In the past, football games are work days for the Corps, where we'll be marching over to and into the stadium for the games. Sunday evening is set aside to ensure you are ready for classes on Monday. 
and all of the space that you see in some shade of green is available for your classes, study, core activities, and personal time. So you have plenty of time to meet all your goals and we're going to teach you how to manage your time so we shouldn't be hearing I don't have enough time as an excuse. You probably picked up on the fact that we place a lot of emphasis on academic success. It is going to be a transition from high school to collegiate level academics. What your professors will expect of you is going to be different. A heavily weighted factor for order of merit by the ROTCs and by potential future employers is going to be your GPA. That's why we have classes to help you succeed as well as that mandatory evening call to quarters time. Then it will be up to you to bring the focus and dedication to that effort. And finally, upper class cadets can be a great resource as coaches as they have taken the classes that you will be taking. The proof that our system works is reflected in the sustained academic excellence our cadets have been able to achieve. You'll see here that we have had over eight consecutive years with the average core GPA being greater than 3.0, with the last semester's core average checking in at 3.31. So there's some insights on how you can use this summer to get ready, and a bit of what to expect throughout the first semester as we work with you to be successful in all your endeavors. The next and final module is going to be critical. It's how we are going to move your class into your residence halls and get your new cadet week off to a strong start. We'll be back soon.